last game. This one is Sunday, as I mentioned earlier. AM and UCLA on Fox, 7.30 Eastern. Bet online number, UCLA 3.5, 56.5 the total. 31-24 AM last year at home. They were 4.5 in overtime. They were up big and then blew it, and then they won in OT. It was 24-9 in the fourth quarter. Rosen with touchdown drives of 77 and 64 yards. He had 343 passing yards with three interceptions. A&M is 44-21 and 21 and 3-2 and two in bowl games in the SEC under Sumlin, but he's on the hot seat, so is Moore. It could be a loser leaves town match here. Already both coaches on the hot seat, and the loser here is in trouble. A.D. Scott Woodward on the <laughs> SEC Network in May. Kevin knows he has to win. He has to win this year. He has to do better than he's done in the past. Sumlin, listen, the pressure on feelings, the same pressure I feel all the time, and so nobody puts more pressure on me than me, and my job is every year I look at what we do and what we do well, we want to stay ahead of the curve. Probably the only reason he's still there is because he has an astronomical buyout. Although, you're both coaches on the hot seat here. What do you think, Teddy? I mean, again, Sumlin is 44-21 and 21 as Texas A&M's head coach. He's 3-2 and two in bowl games. We're not talking about a coach that's had a bad record or a bad track record or has been mediocre. He's been good. Apparently, no, that's not enough. And they haven't done shit has. since I mean, Zell left. Well, he had a pretty good run with Johnny Manziel. Let's put it that way. And it's not like A&M has stunk up the joint. They just haven't been one of the elite SEC teams. Guess what? It's hard to be an elite uh, SEC team. I am a believer in someone as being a good coach. But in the SEC, expectations are sky high everywhere. And every loss is like, you know, the sky is falling. You know, it's not quite as bad in Westwood with UCLA. But you mentioned Jim Mora. He's very well on the same type of hot seat that uh, Kevin Sumlin's on. And, and another guy, he did great with somebody else's recruits. You know, Newhouse's recruits did just fine. Has not done particularly well with his own. Let's not forget how far this program fell at the end of last season. They went 1-5 and five straight up after Josh Rosen got hurt. And their only win during that span came against hapless Oregon State. I think Rosen's good. He has to stay healthy, and we'll see what he has for weapons around him. But here we go again where there's a new offense and a new offensive coordinator, Teddy. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, the third offense coordinator in three seasons. You have Jed Fish taking over uh, after two years under Harbaugh at Michigan. So it's a guy who has a pretty good track record, but third offense coordinator in three years for a you know NFL talent at quarterback. That concerns me. Here's a quote from Jim Mora about the new offense. Quote, I like the multiplicity of it. My belief has always been that you have a series of concepts in your back pocket and you pick the concepts out that best fill the skill sets of your, that best fit the skill sets of your players. I think Jed does a really good job of that. I think he's able to create mismatches through personnel groupings, motions. He looks for matchups, which I've always believed in. So how ready is this offense going to be? Here's a quote from Josh Rosen. Quote, he doesn't want me to go into a game with anything I'm less than supremely confident in. At the same time, I want him to have as big of a call sheet as he wants. So it's on me to put as much of my time into it as I can let him have as much freedom as he can. So it sounds like they're going to try to open up the playbook a little bit. How successful that is, maybe another story entirely. Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.